some more bags of this Mason mortar, Mason mix type S mortar. I like this stuff. Two bags of that. Sorry, you can get the sand little by little. I have a fair amount already. More materials. Everything's gotten outrageous. 10 bucks a blade. These are five bucks each. The thinner ones. I don't usually get those too much, but they're really nice. They're just pricey, real expensive. Ten bucks, little sanding pad. Chicago Electric. Harbor Freight, I think Home Depot has them also. 120 uh, volts, 20 amp welding machine. So I'm gonna cut this barrel down to right above this little rib. About five inches or so. Okay, it's been a couple days. Try taking this one back form off. Let's see what we got here. Now this one was a little bit out of square also. This block was this block. and square now. Ha! Ah, look at the hair. That came out pretty nice, didn't it? Okay, I like the way this turned out. <laughs> so far, so good. Next, I'm going to build this uh, metal support system. It's going to have a plate, maybe like a U-channel trough, so I can pour another vent structure up here. With I'll put these four straps, help stabilize this. So I got this frame here, goes inside of this little box give me some support flies um, and I had to notch it out here because this frame this is inch and a half and the frames one and a quarter so I notched it out and then uh, this frame is going to go on top and this will support the blocks with the upper heat exhaust uh, venting this frame. Weld that in place. And this will go on top. None of it welded in place. I'll get it as level as I can. It's, it's not a big deal. Get it somewhat level and then I'll level up the blocks. Then I'm going to have to make these troughs. Probably eighth inch steel supports. Four support. Well, I don't know if I need four. I need two supports for sure on each uh, outlet here. 